Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to finally do the long awaited unearthly cosmetics part two, but complete ranking of my palettes. So what I have decided to do is go ahead and just throw away the part one list and start all over again, ranking them all together. Because honestly, I think it's kind of messed up my other list because now it has thrown a huge curveball on my favorites and why and you'll see you'll see first I want to thank my sweet soul sister Nikki Raven for sending me these earrings I absolutely adore them and they are so cute she calls me a mermaid and these are skeleton mermaids <laughs> they're so cute thank you Thank you, Nikki Raven has a YouTube channel. If you don't follow her already, I will link her information down below. She's my sweet soul sister. So if you don't already follow her, please go follow her because you will love her. Okay, and out of that, I will also be linking Unearthly Cosmetics down in the description box. And actually, the owner of Unearthly Cosmetics also has a YouTube channel. And I will be linking that down below also in case you want to follow and go get connected up with her also. I am an affiliate with Unearthly Cosmetics also. My code is debuton. So if there's anything that you decide you want to pick up at Unearthly and you want to use my code, I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a bunch. And I truly, truly appreciate every single time that you guys use my code. So I have 15 palettes from Unearthly Cosmetics. I have been purchasing from Unearthly Cosmetics for probably close to three years. Their first palette that ever came out was the Pluto palette and I've been buying from them ever since. If you're here, I'm guessing you're probably interested in Unearthly Cosmetics and their palettes and where they rank. So what I'm going to have you do is just keep watching. I'm so glad you guys decided to stay. If you're new here, please hit subscribe. It doesn't cost anything except for the energy it takes to take a finger and push the button. <laughs> and hit the notification bell. I do live streams. I do videos. I do premieres. I would love to have you guys a part of that family. And so. Delirious Debbie, full warning, full warning. Delirious Debbie is in full effect. I have been up all night. And then I was like, oh, I've been up all night recording videos, but I'm going to do this ranking video. Because it's time. It's time to get this. They're doing a relaunch. And they are bringing back, like, Don't Be Jelly and some of the ones that are going to be in this pile. We have 15 palettes that we got to get through. I'm going to do a little bit of swatching so that you can see a little bit of what I'm talking about. Probably about half of these are discontinued. So really just showing you what they have, talking about the differences between their old formula and their new formula. They're in my palette collection, so I'm ranking in them. Even though they're not all available, sometimes you can find them on Macari and Poshmark and stuff like that, if that's your thing. So we're going to start off with the ones that I have photos of because there's two palettes that I do not own anymore and I have passed them down to a really dear friend of mine and so she sent me the pictures of these palettes and I am going to show you and this one here. This one is... <gasps> I have actually, I have 15 palettes sitting here ready to be ranked, but I have two palettes that I don't own anymore because I didn't get along well with the color story. But this first palette that is rehomed with my friend, her name is Senia, and this palette right here is the Unearthly palette, and this palette has oranges in it that it just was not my color story. And so I thought I'd pass it on, let somebody else get some good use out of it because it's great shadows. It just wasn't my colors. And then the second one that is also with my friend Senia is this one right here. Here is the Knockout Palette. And the Knockout Palette is a formula that just out of the blue was different. It changed. And when I ordered this palette, I was like, this is not their normal formula tried to do a few looks with this palette and they just weren't blending the way that I know the quality is for Unearthly Cosmetics. And so um, they quickly changed back because I don't think this formula ever came back after this palette. <laughs> and it did have some press glitters in it, but not good press glitters like I was used to with their company either. So this one was definitely a no-go for me, but I never really ran across another palette that they made after that one that was that same quality. So that was good to know. All right, so now on to actual palettes that I have in front of me. Those were the two bonus ones, and now we'll do the 15 countdown, okay? So in number 15 is the Moody palette. The Moody palette, it's kind of like a little holographic packaging, and it looks like this here. This is not a typical Unearthly Cosmetics kind of palette, so that's probably why it's in 15. 
but it actually makes some really pretty looks. It is very cool tone. It's blues and greens and purples. It's very mermaid-esque. And, you know, it has the old school shimmers in it. I mean, it's not anything that is extremely just, you know, head over heels over anything like that, but it can make some pretty looks. And that is why it is ranked number 15. Number 14. 14 would be Spellcaster. This was a different formula also, not like the Knockout, but different. And so, but it wasn't bad. It looks like this here. I didn't really care for the setup of this palette. I don't like the way it looks. And so, um, you know, kind of like teenagers, you know how you go through phases. I felt like Unearthly had those moments where they were kind of going through a rebellious stage with the Knockout palette, maybe even with the Moody palette, and then this one here. This just was not their typical self. And you're like, are you okay? Do you need some counseling? We can get you into some counseling if you need it. I'm just kidding. I'm teasing. They're good. They're good. But it just wasn't them. You know, they just wasn't acting like themselves. <laughs> okay, I'm Sorry, it's late. So this one here made some gorgeous looks like old school shimmers. Again, it's not like the high pigmented shimmers. So I do like this one. It has purples, but then it has some like some grungy shades in them. I love that olive tone. Brown, I like this red here. And this navy, look at that pigmentation. So beautiful. Number 13. Number 13 is in 13 because of the palette itself, but this was the first palette in an Earthly Cosmetics lineup. No, it was Alien Cosmetics, but this is the very first. This is the original. So you open up this one. I love the packaging. This is where we're like, ooh, I like the packaging. Kind of like this. And I love the nine pins that came like this. So this was where I was just like, yes, yes, yes. And then we kind of switched it up and went to some other stuff and then we came back to this. These remind me of Juvia's Place, but quality is amazing. Love, love, love. Look at that. And this is like a, it's a, like a yellow shimmer, but it has like a green undertone. It's so pretty. And then this red matte, it has a little bit of orange tone to it. And then this purple, and it's still good, you guys. It's still good. And even when it's not good, <laughs> I will still keep it because it's the first. It's a collector's item. And I am a collector. Love, love this Kayla pack. Now, number 12 is where I just started to fall hard in love with Unearthly, well, Alien Cosmetics back then, but I'm going to keep calling them Unearthly because that's their name now. So Summer on Earth palette, super fun packaging. Love that. They had the glitters and these are not color pop glitters, okay? They're not. These glitters need no glitter glue. They are so smooth super soft too, not like a sharp glitter, super soft. And then watch, see how it goes on like a sheet of foil? Like it's, it's a foiled glitter. It's just, and oh, I should have showed you. Watch. And then you see you have it all. And you know how everybody's like, I don't like glitter. It falls out everywhere and it goes everywhere and it does all this stuff. No, watch. It's on my finger, right? And then swiping it off my finger, it'll come completely off. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm, it started my glitter obsession. Those are just, I've always loved glitter, but this really just, oh, it's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. So it has, it has these wonderful glitters in it, the mattes and the shimmers, and it just makes a gorgeous, gorgeous look. And yeah, so it's a number 12 spot. We're going to have more glitters to show you. Don't worry. They took away the glitters because there was a lot of people complaining about glitters. And so they decided to do away with them. And they, it's so funny because they knew I was upset. <laughs> this is the Forever palette. This is in the 11th spot. It ranked a little higher on my last one. And I think it's because I created a look that I absolutely love with it. But it is kind of monotone. And I'm not a monotone kind of girl, but it is kind of monotone. But the glitters, <laughs> the glitters get me every time with this palette. Oh my goodness, like just can't even. There's a cool tone pink glitter and a warm tone pink glitter. So two different pink glitters in there. And then it has this little chunky glitter in here. And it's just, it, you put this over top of a matte and it just transforms the look. And it has like this iridescent underlay. It's just so pretty. 
Now that one does get, a, it has kind of like a sandy granule texture to it. And so that one, it can get a little bit more messy, but it's not bad. So, so pretty. Okay. And then the mats are, are gorgeous too. Weird. So they're with the same hair. You want a different color? <laughs> okay. I, I'm telling you, it's fun. <laughs> All right. So, but hey, more fun, right? Okay, so that is 11. So number 10 is a newer palette from Unearthly, and it is the Sleepover Palette. Again, monochromatic, and I'm not big on pink eyeshadows either, even though my eyes are full of them today. <laughs> they're, they're not my go-to shade, but this does have some darker shades in it, and oh my goodness, these shimmers are amazing. That one is more of an old school, but this one's more of a high shine. And then this one has a little bit of a shifty shade to it. And then this dark one is really beautiful. But this shade here, it's like this dark eggplant with a purple and orange glitter in it. And it is gorgeous. I kind of want to just do a look with this sometime because, I mean, I've done a look with this palette, but I want to do a look with this shade sometime because I this shade is just, yeah, it, it's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. The Sleepover Palette. The Sleepover Palette is number 10. Number nine is Fairy Frolic. This one here has been reformulated. So it has different packaging and the shade formula is a little bit different also. But I like mine. I don't know what they changed, but I like mine. This is number nine, but it is, it is a very beautiful palette. And I do really enjoy this palette. So I'll show you. I, I, it's the same shades as far as I know. It's just a different formula. I like, I like it. I don't know what they had to change, but I love it. That's kind of like a rose gold. I wish that was more shiny. So if they changed something like that, I would like that. Like if they made this one more shiny like this one, that would be an improvement. It has this really pretty, oh, I love that. Also this little green shimmer right there. And this mustardy matte. Oh. It has a green undertone, but it's like a mustard. Oh, this is such a beautiful fall palette or grungy palette. Real pretty. Shifts from like an a orange to a purple. Very pretty. Number eight is in the dark palette. This one here looks like this here. Only reason it's in this position is these are fantastic shadows. But some of the other ones have a little bit more variety color options. This limits me a little bit on what kind of eye looks I can come up with. But I do love this color story. That green and the, sh the quality of these mattes are amazing. I love, love the quality of these. This gray is a really pretty like a lavender undertone gray. Mm, beautiful. Stunning. And these shimmers that shift are just gorgeous. That's like a peak. And baby blue shift it looks so paired up nicely with that matte. And then you have this other um, blue undertone shift shadow. You could sheer this out and wear it as a highlighter also. And then you have this midnight dark navy blue, almost flat, and then a bright blue. Just the quality is amazing on this palette. Amazing. Okay. On to number seven. Number seven is something that is not sold any longer, but it's high up on my list because I really love this palette. And you know, if you know me, you'll know that it's kind of strange because it's kind of neutral, but mm, the glitters, the glitters, my favorite color is glitter. Don't hate me because I love glitter. Okay, so very neutral. You got your shimmers that are old school shimmers that there. Old school means just not a high foiled content of the shimmer. It's more of a subdued shimmer and old school shimmers work better with mature skin. So I, I have mature skin and I like me a foil shimmer. So to each his own. Okay. I'm a makeup rebel here. So I don't really go by what people say you're supposed to do. I don't do that. I prefer the foiled over the old school shimmers. But they're pretty in this palette and they go nice because I don't need a super foiled shimmer if I have this glitter goodness here. I, like I said in the other video, I mixed these three glitters all together in one eye look and it was amazing. I'm going to try to do it. So there's that one by itself. So I'm going to layer the blue one now over top of that and mix it in and give you an idea of what they look like together. So gorgeous. And then I took the pink and orange and gold one and put it over top of that. And then I had the mattes on. Dang it. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, 
my goodness, look at that. All three of those mixed together was just all kinds of goodness on my eyes alongside of these mats and shimmers. It was just gorgeous. And that is why this one will continue to rank as high as it did to the point where I went on Macari and bought a backup. So that tells you anything that should. Number six is the Poison Apple Palette. I just did a video. I'll link it down below. But I just did a video not too long ago on this palette. It is gorgeous. It is so gorgeous. I really thought on positioning this one because I created a look that I absolutely love with this palette. This one here looks like this here. I think it's the red and the greens that throw me, but the look that I came up with was just amazing. You have these duochromes in here. You have a green, a very, very light green, like a lime green. You have a bright red shimmer, and then the mattes are amazing. I love the yellow in this, and then a dark green. So a gorgeous palette. It makes stunning looks. It really surprised me because at first some color stories will just completely throw me and I'm be like, I don't know what I'm going to make with this. But this one, when I started to put it on my eyes, mm, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Number five would be the Witching Hour. Again, it's with the oranges, but it is gorgeous. It is so beautiful. It looks like this here. I love that the purples are in it so you can do a nice purple and orange look. Mats are just stunning. I love this chartreuse color. It's got a pumpkin orange, got a bright green, got this lime shimmery goodness shade. It's so beautiful. And then like this pink to lavender shifting shimmer, pretty orange shimmer right there. And then you also have a bright orange shimmer. Very, very pretty. Okay, number four is the milkshake palette. That is what is on my face right now. I love this palette. Oh my goodness. I love pinks and greens together. I like the clarity. It's just... I love the little strawberry imprints. I love the packaging, which is created by Serendipity, the artist that created this. And it is... I love the packaging. This here, I love that. That's actually right underneath there. It's just so pretty. And then this, this is what I have right in there. It is so amazingly gorgeous. And I think even the quality is even better in this one. The shimmers are just butter. Like they are so nice. And then you have this really bright yellow gold. I don't know. I think it's more yellow than gold. So pretty. And then you have this lavender shade and then this bright green matte. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna swatch all of these on my hand just really quickly so you can kind of see. Okay, the pinks, the red matte. That is just a stunning shade. The green, this is the red shimmer. You have the pink shimmer, the yellow shimmer, and the purple shimmer. And then you have this nice little taupe that you can use to buff out or to tone down some of the shades. It's just beautiful. It's really, really a gorgeous palette. And I can't wait to do some more different types of looks with this palette. It's really got my creativity going like, ooh, what else am I going to pick? It is truly so hard because it's like you love them so much. You don't want to pick between them that you have to put them in a spot. And so it, it is, it's just, it's a very difficult thing to do. Okay, the top three, it was difficult, but not because I know the reasons why they're there <laughs> and I'll share it with you. <laughs> okay, so number three, is the Hauntingly Glamorous palette. This was made in collaboration with Sydney Nicole, and I will link all that information down below. I love the artwork of this palette. It's gorgeous. The packaging, the color story, it's all beautiful. It's just my jam. I love this color story. The look that I created with this, I love. So got this wonderful purpley lavender, so pretty, and that navy blue really pretty shade of purple. You got a dark purple. Love this shade too. So, so pretty. And then you have this mint green and I'm always a sucker for mint green if it stays that color on my face. And this one did. And then you have a lime green, a teal. You have a deep red, a bright red, a fun shifty shade. Oh, love that. So stinking pretty. And it's beautiful as a highlighter. Has kind of a greenish blue undertone tint to it. And then you have this really pretty shifty light baby pink. This kind of palette I don't think you would ever get bored with because there's so many different color combinations that would look gorgeous on eye looks and, and the sky's the limit. So Sydney Nicole, you knocked it out of the park, girl. Way to go on this collaboration palette because it's amazing. And the quality is so stunning. So this one is in my number three spot.
down to last two. So number two is I love the Don't Be Jelly. We're talking multi-chromes, duochromes, just goodness in a palette. It was really hard to knock this one out of its first place position. Let's just take a little peek. I'm just going to swatch all of them and then I'll show you. Okay, this is the Don't Be Jelly palette. It is so beautiful. It is. It's so pretty and it's been in my number one spot for a long time. I just love that way that one shifts over here. That is such a pretty shade. These are just so gorgeous. I love me a multi-chrome. I am a sucker for a multi-chrome. That is for sure. Number one spot. There's a reason for it. It's less multi-chromes, more duochromes, but you get so many in this palette. This is, you can't, I love an all shimmer look. I can wear an all shimmer look because because I am a makeup rebel like that. So, okay, nobody tells me what to do with my makeup. <laughs> so I can wear this palette alone. But if you're wanting some special shades to go with any palette that you own, this is the palette. Seriously, it has just about every different combination, and it's the all I ever wanted palette. And it has so many different specialty shades that you can add to a look. Let's just get into this, okay? Because why not? You're here. I'm here. Let's just swatch, okay? I'm just going to put, put these on my hands. Okay, that's the first row. It has some good shift to it in these duo chromes. I, I think the first row is really nice to pair up with a neutral look. Like these are going to be a great companion for your neutral looks for sure. Okay. So this is row number two, and you've got some shifty shades going on there. So, so pretty. Very reflective. And this one here, it like glows. It's so beautiful. This is like dark and grungy. It's like a purple with a dark gray undertone. It's just so gorgeous. All right, and that is the third row. These duochromes, like this one here, it's almost more like a multi-chrome. I see three different colors in this one here. Let's see if I can get all the colors in there. There we go. Purple, blue, and green. And then they're just like all of those on one eye look would be so beautiful. So pretty. Okay, this one is one of my favorite shades. This one is just landed, and it's just so different from all the other shifty shades that I that I own. I just love just landed so much. But these are just so beautiful. Love this last row, and they really they really speak in my language right there. Oh, so so stinking pretty. I should do. I know Nikki Raven, the one that sent me these earrings. She does this thing on her channel where she will do multiple looks of a palette and she takes each row. Thinking this one would be a really good one to do that in. So if she doesn't do it, I might have to. <laughs> All right, guys, that is my top 15 with two bonus extras in there. So technically top 17 Unearthly Cosmetics palettes. I love this brand. I have a code. It'll save you some money. Code Debuton. Same code for every company that I have a code with. You can't go wrong. I, I would repurchase any of these palettes if something was to happen to them. So I just really love their brand. I love their formula. They have amazing customer service. You know, sometimes with, with any brands, you never quite know what you're buying from. Like if you've never bought from them before, you don't know who's behind the company, if they're going to have good customer service. There's a lot of what ifs out there. You will not have that with Unearthly Cosmetics. I have had nothing but professional experiences with their company. She takes care of her customers. It's not just the people that show her merchandise, but she takes care of her customers. And I've seen this over years and years and years. And none of that has ever changed. It's probably improved because as she's grown, you know, so, so does her interactions with her customers. If you're interested in checking out Unearthly Cosmetics. I will link them down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please do. I'd appreciate it. And I hope you guys all enjoyed this. And until the next time, I hope you guys all have a blessed night. Take care. Bye-bye. If you're new here, if you're new, okay, I am gonna, I am <laughs> fairy fault. Very flaw. <laughs> number 10. Number 9. <laughs>
15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Number nine is fairy pop. Ooh. Number nine is fairy frolic. <laughs> number nine is number <laughs> Okay. So number eight is the end of the the end of the world. <laughs> The end of the world. <laughs> oh my goodness. It hits a certain time of the day when you've been up all night and you can't 